Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm going to tell you all about the 2017 Springdale 286 FWBH. It's going to be a great bunkhouse fifth wheel floor plan. Let's go ahead and start on the front here, we'll make our way back and then head on in. So right up front of course is the front cap. You will notice how right here it does have nice cutouts. That way it's going to give you a little bit greater turning radius so you can turn a little bit sharper without having to worry about blowing the window out of the back of your pickup. Right front and center here is a mirror that will aid you as you're backing up so you're able to see your uh, hitch so you can line it up with the kingpin nice and easily. Let's go ahead and shoot underneath here take a look at the front storage so you can see there it's very clean storage which is great off to the side here is the battery box compartment as well but this uh, this particular coach does have a couple of great storage areas that right there will be one of them as we come around to the side this will be one of our two propane tanks 30 pound tanks for a total of 60 pounds of propane now our second storage compartment comes right here in the form of a pass-through. You can see there it goes all the way through. Uh, large storage there which is great and it's a wide door. So if you do have larger items like zero gravity chairs, you can easily slide them in there. Let's take a look up top. You'll see here's a power awning, large power awning. Uh, that's nice and easy to use. One touch of a button that rolls out, touch of a button that rolls back in. And underneath that is your LED light strip. That way you don't have to worry about trying to get up there on the awning, hanging up your Christmas lights or anything like that. You just flip a button and you have your lights at night. Underneath the awning are the outside speakers. Now those are controlled by the multimedia center inside. However, they are, it is Bluetooth capable. So that way you can sit out here underneath your awning. If you can use your smartphone or tablet, be able to connect to that via Bluetooth uh, and control your music right here from outside. Now maybe you're not a music person, maybe TV is more your choice, that's not a problem. You'll see right here there is a mounting bracket for the TV, so what you do is you take the TV from inside, you uh, take the whole arm, put it right out here, and then there are the connections, that way you can have outside TV, and again that will be underneath the awning. Uh, getting into this coach is nice and easy, three steps here, you'll notice they put aluminum steps on there. I like the aluminum steps they don't rust out on you uh, also you have the rubber strips here too which is going to help for grip you know uh, that way if it rains or it's early in the morning and there's dew you're not going to slip on these stairs and also you have the easy grab handle here to assist you into the coach uh, to make our way back a little bit further one thing i'd like to talk about on here too this coach does have the correct track alignment system so what that is is it's been proven over time that your axles will actually become misaligned so instead of having to cut them and re-weld them, you can bring them in, we can go ahead and use that correct track system to realign the axles. If you come around to the back, so not only do you have the two front storage compartments, but take a look at this. Underneath the back bunk, you get another huge storage area right back here. Again, nice wide door so it is easy to fit items in there. Uh, power stabilizer jacks on the back here and as you come around last thing you notice right here is your spare tire uh, hopefully you never have to use it but in the event that you do it is a great thing to have all right that's pretty much going to wrap it up for the outside let's go take a look at the inside welcome to the inside of the 2017 keystone springdale 286 fifth wheel bunkhouse let's go ahead and start off right over here on the kitchen large countertop in here which i like you have some great prep space right here on the side as well as over here and you're able to use the sink because it does come with the sink top cover now this is cutting board quality so if you want to use it as a cutting board you can certainly do that but underneath large single bowl sink i personally like single bowls I know some people have an argument against them but I tell you what if you're using bigger uh, residential pots and pans it's really nice and easy to go ahead and put them in here it makes it a lot easier to wash dishes and if you really want separation you can buy one of the little plastic tubs for super cheap at the dollar store put that in there and use that but I personally like having the big single bowl and you have the high-rise pull-out faucet as well again makes it nice and easy to do the dishes now, because you have big countertop space up top, that means you get big storage down below. We'll start right over here. You can see right there you have two drawers, a hidden control panel right over there. And then as you come around to this side, a cutout there for you, and another drawer right here. Another cutout right here underneath the sink, as well as additional storage right there. In my opinion, it's a great place for a trash can. Now if we take a look up top, right up here you will see great pantry space, shelf is already built in for you, which I like. 
Next to that, again, a cutout right up top here. Uh, great place for decorations, in my opinion. You can put a couple knickknacks up there. Underneath is a stainless steel microwave. The weight on there, 8,230 pounds, so it's not too terribly heavy. And then over to this side, again, great pantry space. Uh, LED lights brighten up the coach. There's LED lights throughout. That's a big deal, too, especially if um, you like to do a lot of camping where you don't have shore power. You'll truly appreciate the LED lights because your battery will last a lot longer. Longer. Fully functional hood here with the lights and a fan and that. Uh, three burner Atwood cooktop, the front one is high output, and you have an oven underneath for any baking. Then take a look at this, huge storage underneath the oven, great place for pots and pans right there and another bank of three full extension drawers. So a lot of drawer space in here, which is very cool. Right up above the refrigerator, you can see additional storage there. And seven cubic foot fridge freezer, open that up for you. Uh, this does light up to nice blue light, but plenty of space in there as well. Now, there's not a ton of pantry space that I've showed you yet, and that's not a problem, because take a look at this. Huge pantry space right there. Uh, I mean, if you want, you can use it for kids' clothes, but they have their own cabinet in the back here, I'll show you. So, my opinion, this is a perfect spot for all of your additional pantry items. And then you have a big storage area right down below. So in the back, as I mentioned, this is a bunkhouse, nice and easy to climb up into. It has a ladder that stores right here. You can just go ahead and pull that out to climb into the top bunk. Uh, but two double-sized bunks in the industry, we call that a double over double. Uh, the 300 pound weight limit, so plenty large. If you wanna you know, have your kids bring friends or cousins or whatever, you can easily sleep two kids to a bunk. Uh, again, LED lights brighten it up. Window on both top and bottom, vent up top to allow for a cross breeze. There is a plug-in over here so if the kids have a tablet or something, a cell phone they need to charge, you can certainly do that. And you have a privacy curtain that you can draw across. Now right here in the back, there is a mirrored wardrobe. So uh, again, that mirror right there is nice. Hanging space all the way across the top. So I really like that. A lot of times in the bunkhouse units, you don't have any hanging space. It's all for folded clothes. So I like they went ahead and included that uh, rod for you. And then some additional storage right there underneath. Now as we move over a little bit, this is going to be the super slide right here. Uh, of course this will house our dinette as well as the sofa, but great dinette. I really enjoy this as well. The table does come out, which is kind of cool, because what you can do is you can actually take this table out, move it in front of the couch, you can drop it down and have a big coffee, uh, coffee table, so that's really cool. Uh, otherwise, you know, sitting right here, there is plenty of room for four people to sit at, so that way you and the kids are able to eat a meal together. This does drop down into a bed as well. So if you do have uh, additional guests that want to stay the night, you can go ahead and accommodate them here. Uh, this is the pebble interior. That's what color scheme you see right here, which is nice. Underneath the seats, take a look at that. Nice, easy access uh, to the storage underneath the seats. You'll have that on both sides. So that way you don't have to take the cushions out to get into that storage area. Windows all the way around make it nice and bright. And if you take a look at this right here, this is cool too. That way if uh, you know, you're sitting at the dinette here, sitting on the couch and you charge your cell phone, you can pop it right into the USB ports and go ahead and do that. Storage up top right here, they have the decorative glass, which is great, uh, but nice storage in there, great area for board games in my opinion. And then right down here is your couch. The thing I love about this couch, this is a tri-fold sofa. So again, if you have guests that want to stay the night, not only is this comfortable to sit in, but this will actually make a comfortable bed. You're not going to have a big bar in your back like your traditional pullouts. You don't have to worry about an air mattress deflating on you, so you know, you're, you're sleeping on uh, a rock hard surface and when you're waking up in the middle of the night. Not the case here. The tri fold is extremely comfortable. And if you want to watch TV, that's not a problem either, because right here is the 28 inch TV. Uh, Jensen Electronics, that's something I like to bring up. Both the TV and Multimedia Center are Jensen. Manufacturers pay more for that because it is a name brand. In the RV industry, Jensen's one of the top name brands you can have. They're built specifically for the RV industry because it's built to withstand the uh, shocks and vibrations from going down the road, as well as the temperature extremes from extreme extremely hot to extremely cold, so uh, that is definitely a, a big advantage to have. When I was outside, I did talk briefly about the Multimedia Center, uh, how this is Bluetooth capable. This will control the speakers outside as well as the speakers inside. This is a radio CD player and DVD player, so if you or the kids want to watch a movie, you can certainly pop a DVD in there, watch Frozen, Finding Nemo, whatever you want, so very cool. 
uh, uh, storage space all the way around. I'll open this up for you so you can see, again, shelf built in, great spot for your DVD collection right up there. Uh, storage on the side here as well, taller storage right there, so great storage areas. This folds up here, you can see to access all of your uh, extra components there. And then underneath, again, more storage. All right, that'll pretty much wrap it up for this part right down here. Let's head on up the steps. We'll take a look at the bathroom and bedroom. All right, so located on the wall right here as you're heading up to the uh, bathroom, there's this little remote. This is really cool. Uh, this is what they call the uh, Camp Easy system. This has all sorts of function on here, uh, functions on here, everything from your power awning to the lights outside, and you can control your slide and landing gear. So the reason I like this is because you can be outside, especially if you're in a tight, uh, tight site with those trees all around you can be out there open up your awning make sure you're not going to hit anything same thing with your slide you can control it all from right here so very easy and convenient as we do head up the steps into the bathroom we can come take a look uh, good size bathroom in the 286 uh, starting right over here in the corner this is the toilet foot flush lever toilet there moving across over to here this is your vanity great countertop space on here you can see you have some extra room plug in there so if you need to you know have a hair dryer curling iron you can do that and then great storage underneath there as well up top here is mirrored medicine cabinet so there is additional storage right behind that again LED lighting throughout you have a vent right Right here which is great up top big skylight above the shower that's nice that's gonna let in a lot of uh, additional light and give you some more headroom and then right here in the corners the neo angle shower never mind the pink that's just from winterization but uh, large shower there great shelving hand wand too makes it nice and easy to wash up now right behind me, this is really cool. Uh, this is a slide, so there are two entrances and exits into the bathroom, one into the main area, one, uh, the other one right here into the bedroom. But as you can see, this is really cool. This whole thing is a slide out. So uh, what you do is you close this off, then the front area becomes wardrobe space for the bedroom. This kind of becomes a linen closet, so you can put your towels in here, your other bathroom goodies, uh, mirror on the door as well, so I do like that. All right, it's pretty much gonna wrap it up for the bathroom. Let's go take a look at the bedroom. So right here is the full walk around queen bed. Uh, there is storage underneath, it is strut supported, that just lifts up nice and easily. Then if you take a look all the way around, you'll see amazing storage. So uh, you have shelves on both sides if you need to have a glass of water or anything, as well as a shelf along the back, which is great for cell phones. As you see, there's plug-ins right there. So you can go ahead and plug your cell phone in and leave it right there on the headboard. Uh, also, you have drawers on either side, mirrored wardrobes with hanging space, and storage all the way across the top. Also right up top here is a vent. You have a window, so that'll create a nice cross breeze. And this vent is pre-wired for a second AC. So if it's really hot and you do want to have a second AC, in, uh, AC installed, you can certainly do that. Now right over here, you have great wardrobe space as well. So you have a double door here as well as a third door right here. Hanging rod going all the way across. So you can fit plenty of clothes in here you know, on both sides of the bed and right here, which is absolutely phenomenal. Also, if you are one that likes to watch TV before bed, uh, on the wall opposite me, there is a mounting bracket location, so you can go ahead and mount your TV there. All right, folks, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Uh, again, this is the 2017 Springdale 286 FWBH. It's a great uh, bunkhouse fifth wheel. It really has a nice floor plan. If you're looking for uh, you know, an entry-level bunk model that you know is fantastic looking, really nice value, this is one you really have to take a look at. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to give me a call uh, here at American RV, or you can leave that in the section below and I'll be happy to get back to you. If you have particular questions on the specs of the unit, such as length or weight, uh, or if you're looking for the latest price and availability, I recommend you visit our website, which is AmericanRV.com, for the most up-to-date information. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.